this is going to be a two-part video. One part is going to be on this tuner, the SN5X, and the other is going to be on the ST2, ST-2 tuner, and the problems. So we'll start off with this SN5X, and then we will go on to the ST2. We have an unboxing here. If you like this video, do a thumbs up and a share and a like. And if you want to support my channel, ask for my PayPal info. I'll leave affiliate links in the video description. You click on those, you can purchase this right from the link. And if you don't want to purchase this, but you shop on Amazon, if you click on that link before you do any of your orders, it will help me out and it won't change your order at all. So this is the Snark SN5X and I just did a video about the ST2 and how it ends up dissolving paint and it's got this really sticky, nasty coating on it after a while. So I thought, let me go buy this. The, uh, this one has the mic and the vibration sensor. This one does not have the mic, but as I said, I have never used the mic before. If you have an instrument that might need the mic, then go do that. So what does this say over here? Guitar, bass, violin, and uke. Okay, so the SN6X is strictly for uke. The 5 is guitar, bass, and violin. Um, I buy these things because they work, and they're very easy to use. You just put this thing, well, that's the little battery paper over there. You pull that out, and that way the battery doesn't go dead while it's sitting in the unit until it's sold. So you just clamp it onto the headstock of your guitar, and I'm a person who really likes red. I like the color red for the ST-2, but as I said, the paint is just flaking off on this thing, and it's sticky, and I don't know how safe that is anymore, and it just looks kind of blah. The black, it's got a little shiny cover, or a little front piece is shiny. I guess the whole thing is shiny. Yeah, it looks much nicer. It looks mu more sleek more awesome. It's bodacious and radically cool. So I'm going to test this out. I'm going to test them both out. I'm going to pull this thing. You always want to pull gently. You never know if you're going to hurt yourself. Pull. Now, on the back of this, what do we have? Guitar, bass, violin, tuner. No buttons on here. No buttons on the side. It's a straight guitar, bass, violin, tuner. Whereas this guy over here, for another dollar, it has the on button, like that did. This has the mic and vibration button. This has a pitch calibration, if you need that. I think most of us don't. And this also has a button to move you up or down for the capo. If you're going to have a capo on there and move it to the, I think, like the first five frets, you can press this thing and it will change every setting for you. So. It's already on. I just saw it talking, or I saw, well, I saw it talking. I just saw it saying F, showing F. You can't really see. Oh, it's not showing anything. I'm gonna put this on the guitar now. Just put some strings on there so we're gonna see what it does. Here we go, people, here we go, my voice. Okay, so we're looking at both of them. They want... Bop, 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 bop. That's not really a good test. We know that my voice is somewhere in the key of B. This is uh, the sixth string that I just put on. It's probably going to be way out of tune. Whoops, that's the fifth string. It was definitely out of tune if it was the sixth. So let me zoom in just a little bit more. We'll get some good video so we can see what's going on here. Sixth string. Now the red one seems to be a little bit more responsive, a little faster. And I think I read something online about that, maybe. Let's go to A.
both the same. D, the strings are still stretching. Very accurate, they're both, at least they're both consistent. G, way, way out, the G always loses its, the G spot always loses until you take care of it. Tuning, a lot of tuning on the G. We're almost there on the red one. Exact, they are both the same. Their calibration and their, uh, obviously what they're doing, what they're building is good. B, ooh, you hear the string pop? Let's get that lighting a little better. Sorry about the reflection. Let me cover all the other strings for the B. That one popped a little faster, but the black one got the same thing. The red one popped a little faster. The red one's there. Let's try it again. Okay, I would say they are both. That's a G. I'm playing a G chord right now. A minor. E. Let's try an A. They're fairly the same. They're, they're pretty much the same. Let me move the camera eye. Here we have the ST-2. It is the red tuner. Price is about $13 as I just looked over my shoulders. $13. I bought this thing years ago. And then I bought this one. Now, if you're looking at the video closely, let me get the lighting a little better so we can see. I should be using two lights, but I'm not going to. So this is the good one. My finger rubs across it. It's nice and smooth. Has a nice finish. It's nice and smooth. Nice finish. And everything is wonderful. And these things, as I said, they're $13. You buy them and you don't expect much from them. If it lasts you a year, it costs you 13, 12, 13 bucks. If it lasts you two years, it costs you $6. The convenience is wonderful. People that say they tune by ear, there are some people that can do that. There are other people that tune to the string. They tune it to another string and just go out and buy one of these things. It will save yourself so much time and you'll tune in with no time at all. But do you want to buy this? Remember I said it comes out to about 13 bucks, maybe $6 a year, maybe uh, $4 a year. This is, okay, that's got a little chip over there. This is the other one that I bought. And my finger is kind of sticking on it. You go on the internet and you do a search on this thing and you will find millions and millions of comments on this. Let's look over here. You see that? That is where, ugh, you can see it up here. What happens is this is really, it's either cheap paint or cheap plastic and it's a well-known problem with this, uh, this version, this brand, this uh, ST2. And so it's, it gets very sticky and it's starting to flake off. And there are people that say if you leave this on your guitar, you will end up with a nice red stain if it touches the wood and you might damage your guitar. Over here we can see that the paint is flaking off. When I pick this thing, well normally I would just go over here and press the button. So if I'm gonna press the button, Okay, it's not coming on right now. I don't know if it's working. Um, normally it shows me at about an E when I'm talking. Is it working? Okay, there it is. It's on now. You probably can't see it. 
because of all the lighting. But this is, I don't know if the paint is coming off. I don't know if the plastic is melting. I have the same problem if you check out my channel. I have an Ibanez guitar and the whole built-in preamp tuner literally melted. It was sticky and it melted. The same thing as this. So the question is, is the paint coming apart? Now I don't know if this is safe paint or not. Maybe it's safe when it is dry and it's smooth like this. But is it safe when it's coming up, coming off like this? Or is, I don't think the plastic is melting underneath. I took a cloth and I rubbed it against here and the paint is coming off. So you have a choice. You can use some paint thinner and remove this stuff and clean it up. Is it worth the $12 if you don't have a lot of money? Maybe. Is it worth hold, uh, using turpentine and cleaners? getting it on your hands unless you wear gloves? Is it worth melting off this this paint? Or are you better off just buying another one? Like I did here. Or are you better off staying away from the red one that seems to have this problem and buying this? Which is the black one that supposedly doesn't have the problem. And if you like this one, then you buy another one because they, not, they are not that expensive. This version bass guitar I think violin and you this has a vibration uh, sensor this has a vibration sensor and a microphone I think the button is on the back for the microphone push to cal up and down I think that's for going into uh, uh, when you have the capo on and where's the button is that the button over there microphone I bought this thing I have never used it for microphone now if you have an auto harp Unless you want to rest this on the auto harp, you are going to need the microphone. So if you need the microphone, buy the ST2. If you don't need the microphone and you're strictly going to use it for vibration, buy this. And now I'm going to do a review on this. It comes with a paper carrying case. You're never going to use that. It's just a protective cover. Uh, let's see now. The ST2 has a mic and a vibration center sensor. The ST8 appears to be vibration only. The ST-8HZ adds hertz tuning for one-tenth of one hertz accuracy. The ST2 replaces the SN-2. The ST-8 replaces the SN-8. Uh, what else is there? I think... I believe they are both chromatic. I don't know. I can't. This over here says chromatic. So I'm assuming they are chromatic. But if it said, it says clip on chromatic. But if it's chromatic, uh, that would mean it would show everything. And it probably does. Okay, when I've tuned these things up, it does show. It goes all the way through. So chromatic tuners, uh, whatever you need. If you need the microphone, go out and spend, or you need the, uh, the measuring for the capo to uh, bump it up a fret which again, I've never used the button. I don't know, I probably people never do that. If you don't need the microphone for your tuning, you can get this or you can, or the SN5X or you can spend the extra dollar and get all these bells and whistles you're probably never gonna need. I don't know if they've fixed the paint problem on here um, because this is, let me zoom in. Where is it? I was trying to remove some of this stuff and I thought, do I really wanna, you see, I got hairs hanging on here, dog hairs. There's just, it's nasty. And I could clean it up. I was thinking, do I want to clean it up? Or maybe I should just go pop a YouTube video on there to let people know about how gross this is. And if you're going to be alive in four or five years and you think this could happen to you, do you want to buy this? Or do you want to buy this one? I don't know if this is going to happen to this, but I haven't seen anything online that the black finish is doing that but again it probably has nothing to do with snark it has to do with the manufacturing of the plastic and the painting as i said with my ibanez the whole tuner the built-in preamp and tuner the whole piece of plastic got all gross like this and sticky and literally melted and fell apart so there is something going on with the way it, this stuff is manufactured in China. And uh, that's going to be my review on the ST-2.
and the S and 5X. I think I got those both right. And don't forget that affiliate link, the thumbs up, share, subscribe, like, you know the routine, the stuff nobody does. Thanks for watching, everybody. Keep strumming.